Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to speak about one of the most unique features of the game, uh, which is very interesting. Uh, it's a season reset. In order for you to understand what happens uh, during season reset, you need to know uh, what kind of changes you're gonna get uh, whenever this reset will hit your kingdom. First of all, one of the most important changes change uh, the, during the season reset is in hero sections, which is pretty easy to understand. Um, every single hero which was in the past season above 30 level will be resetted to 30. So your most important uh, grind and gameplay will be to level up your heroes as soon as possible because uh, the talents are getting resetted too, so you aren't gonna have uh, your talents uh, upgraded. And in order for you to have talent points, you need to level up your heroes. Um, other changes regarding heroes are none. Um, the, the stars of the heroes are staying same, levels of your skills are staying same, so uh, your only grind regarding hero section will be for you to farm as much Darklings as possible, because that will be the only way for you to level up your heroes. Other than that, I would suggest regarding heroes to choose your primary and secondary um, hero pairs, uh, your hero pairs which you are going to use in the next season, and try to uh, level up only them. Uh, besides that, that, like if you are still playing in the past season and you don't have your heroes past 30 level, I would suggest to focus on that. Uh, like try to get almost every single hero at like more than 30 level, so during the season reset you don't have to level up from them from the zero. Uh, other than that, there is not much changes regarding uh, heroes, but there is some items which will get scrapped, which means deleted, and it's important for you to know about those items. Uh, like items are getting scrapped such as um, elixir potions uh, like i would suggest you to use every single elixir potion if you have ever saved them until the season reset will uh, hit because they will be simply getting deleted and uh, you will have a zero use with them also uh, experience books uh, tactic manuals uh, will be scrapped so your only way to level up your heroes will be through gameplay and that's why i suggest you to 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 play the game as much as possible during that time. Uh, other than that, nothing else really gets really gets um, scrapped. But there is also some other changes uh, in the game whenever reset happens. Uh, policies, um, like honestly, every new season we are getting new type of policies with, with new roads and some additional factors of the season. Uh, that's why policies are getting resetted, and but with that you are having your prestige uh, resetted to zero, which means you need to play the game in order to uh, research those policies, because I'm sure you understand military expansion and all in general healing from the policies are uh, one of the best and one of the most important things we need to do uh, during the season opening. That's why you're gonna have zero prestige, uh, which means you have to farm Darklings uh, and Dark Creatures. Also, by doing that, you're gonna level up your heroes, you're gonna get more prestige, so you will be um, researching your policies. It's pretty straightforward, it's uh, like everything is in a system, uh, added to system, you are not going to do anything uh, strange, like you are farming Darklings, you are level upping your heroes, you are unlocking your talents, you are getting prestige which is gonna reset it and you are researching the policies so every single detail uh, during the reset uh, is uh, connected uh, so like your main motivation should be to play the game as much as possible do during that time right because if you will miss out and if you won't gonna play the game at that time uh, like hardcore then your heroes will be low level um, your talents won't gonna be unlocked your policies will be stuck and you won't gonna have as much prestige in order for you to progress through game this is like the main changes uh, during the reset time 
uh, it was important for me to explain it as simple as possible for you to be uh, understandable because sometimes uh, whenever people hear especially new players regarding reset and things getting deleted and hero levels getting dropped they are getting pretty negative about it but 100% uh, I'm pretty sure this uh, feature is great for a free to play players like my main question right now is like if your server have not hit a reset how you can prepare yourself to start the season reset and new season in a best possible way for example if you have any uh, comment points potions uh, which gonna help you to uh, use, use it in the next season will be great if you will use it right now because that will be scrapped also and you will have only the command points which is currently seen here you won't be able to uh, save up those uh, potions and uh, bring to the new season that's why uh, like until the reset will hit your server try to use uh, every single um, command potion uh, also uh, how you can prepare regarding heroes is to try to level up your heroes until the reset will hit uh, above 30 level so whenever the reset will hit they will be dropped to 30 level not to zero uh, it's pretty important it will help you a lot in a future uh, gameplay like it's a pretty big difference if you are not going to level up your heroes from the zero uh, it will take a lot of time if you will do that also how you can prepare yourself as i said you can always uh, use your elixirs because it will get deleted and in general like uh, playing the game uh, playing the uh, game how it should be played not doing the stupid mistakes uh, whenever like season is ending uh, you are only on a waiting stage uh, also like for the warpets how you can prepare your warpets it's pretty important because uh, levels of warpets does warpets does not drop so whenever your season is finished on the finish line it will be better if you will level up your other warpets which are on a zero level which i'm doing currently like uh, my venomous lizard my uh, golden rock and my night rock is starting to level up because uh, there is ma nothing much to do currently in the game uh, we are waiting and i'm trying to prepare myself uh, as much as uh, possible also if we are going to speak uh, regarding heroes in a more deeply way uh, try to choose uh, the hero pairs for the almost every single legion type and try to level up them uh, together uh, as a whole unit because every single hero will get experience one by one and it will be your fastest way to uh, level up your heroes and in general uh, if you are not planning to play the game uh, during the reset time you will uh, get behind because people are developing your their heroes as fast as they can and if you are not playing the game at that time it will be pretty rough for you uh, also another very very important factor is migration uh, and you need to understand the migration until the reset will hit migration is generally a option for a player to change the kingdom if you are not uh, satisfied with your current kingdom so whenever you're gonna change your migration you're gonna change your server uh, you're gonna you're gonna start a new season and reset with a new kingdom uh, that's why it's very important for you to understand how migration in general works uh, there is like couple of options for you to choose on which server you want to transfer now it costs 5000 gems which is not a great idea but 5000 gems is not a lot uh, that's why after migration you are getting season rewards right and rewards are one of the most uh, important and the best rewards you can get uh, in the game that's why i always suggest you to try to save up the gems uh, for those rewards especially for compendiums for artifacts especially for free to play players because us for us it's really really hard to get artifacts in this game and season ending uh, rewards are the best way uh, for a free to play player i'm not going to speak more deeply about the rewards and which rewards you should choose uh, that's a topic for another video but we still need to mention about rewards because uh, uh, rewards come from uh, whenever we set hits and uh, that's also a big big um, like uh, news uh, big big hype because everybody is waiting for those compendiums other than that uh, if we are speaking about season reset as a 
whole as a feature like i understand for the people especially for pay to win players it might be rough uh, every three months you are level up in your heroes so again and again you are losing the items which you have been collecting the whole time uh, but you need to understand the uh, free to play players too uh, you need to progress in game uh, by just playing the game in my opinion that's why in general games are made uh, that's another way for a free to play player to somehow catch uh, pay to win player who doesn't really play the game and uh, they just bring money in the game and they try to avoid those things so, so like the game gives us incentive to play the game uh, and the game gives us rewards while playing the game uh, why it should be bad in my opinion it's a great feature it gives me hype every time there is a reset uh, like i understand you are doing everything same every time but uh in general, in Kingdom Builder games, there is a time when nothing really happens and it's really, really better to level up your heroes, uh, collect your items again, uh, use those items rather than just uh, doing nothing, uh, getting bored and leaving the game. It gives us players more uh, interesting stuff, it gives us more... Uh, motivation to be better every single season uh, because everybody is starting from the same place um, every single player's heroes are 30 level every single player's items are getting scrapped so we are starting from the same line and it's dependent on you how far and how fast you want to progress uh, that's why uh, for me it was important to understand how in general a reset is happening in the game also like it's really important to know that whenever reset hits um, new season is starting and for every new season there is new features for example for season 2 plus the new features were turrets uh, which is pretty cool uh, new feature which we have not had in the past at first i was negative for the turrets but whenever i played the game more and more during this season i understand that it's a pretty cool addition i'm not going to say it's a great addition or bad it's an interesting one at least i understand that uh, every season is different um, and every season brings something new to the game also the season 2 plus brought us spires um, and uh, like almost every reset we are getting new map so whenever season ti will hit i'm pretty sure we're gonna have some new features so, such as like so likely turrets or something else um, but not spire and i'm i'm pretty sure that there will be a new map and uh, if i'm not mistaken they are bringing map of tamaris which is a great thing uh, because i love the old map the current map is uh, much more favorite for uh, uh, flying flying units in general and i don't think uh, like that should be the best idea of playing the game uh, i think every single legion type should be viable and it should be dependent on the player which uh, playstyle they choose to play and which they like the most uh, regarding other things um, like try to prepare yourself as much as possible uh, because uh, like if your items are getting broken and reset and scrapped it's much better to use them right now than uh, getting the zero value out of it so try uh, to uh, understand what season reset means try to understand what you can do to prepare it for the future because this game is preparation all the time and grind honestly like you need to make a plan and continue to follow this plan uh, in order to be successful in the end uh, like for example for myself i'm not trying to be the best player i'm not trying to be the one of the best player i'm trying to have fun and i'm having fun whenever i'm making a plan and i'm following those uh, this plan somehow i managed to get to 30 million power as a free-to-play player who have not even spent a single dollar in this game uh, so if you have a question in your mind um, is this game uh, fun my opinion is yes if you have a question that it is possible to progress in game without spending money yes but you need to grind uh, you need to play the game and you need to try to understand the game mechanics in the best possible way that's why i'm trying to make those videos uh, there is not much to speak about reset in general like we know that hero levels are getting um, lower uh, we know that there is a couple of items which are gonna get scrapped uh, we know that uh, policies will be changed um, 
prestige will be scrapped. Other than that, nothing really changes, right? Uh, things will change whenever season will hit, uh, new map, uh, new events. Uh, so it's like best time for you to play the game. And I'm not sure why you, are, why you are playing the game in general if you are not playing at the reset time whenever everybody is starting from the zero. I hope you are enjoying the videos I'm trying to make. I'm trying to be as informative as possible. Um, if you have any ideas, maybe you have different view about the reset, it will be much appreciated if you will share it with me. Uh, because in general I like to have a conversation about the game uh, because game is big, uh, game is changing uh, all the time uh, and I might be wrong uh, and you might be right so we both won't gonna find out who is right or wrong or what's the best way of playing the game if we are not going to have a conversation uh, I think most importantly uh, after watching this video it will be much easier for you to know how to prepare yourself for a reset uh, you already know what happened happens during reset and uh, you know my opinion about it now it's your time to share your opinion and i will be waiting your comments and i will be waiting your uh, ideas about the reset for me it's great and now i want to hear from you thanks for watching i hope you enjoy the content i'm trying to make i'm trying to be as informative and uh, as uh, uh, progressive as possible i'm trying to make content in a game whenever there is not much events and not much uh like content to try to make but uh if we're gonna look in details you will understand that there is a lot much more in the game than it looks uh, if you like the content if you like the videos and if you like the information which i'm giving you uh, press like share comment uh, subscribe it always brings smile on my face and makes me uh, motivated to do more uh, so far thanks for watching i hope you are having a great day morning or evening uh, depending on where you are um, and wish you luck i'm gonna see you very very soon bye bye